Hello everyone, my name is Alexandria. I work as a naturalist for the Mercer County Park Commission at the Topahacking Nature Center. Today I will be reading Mother Monarch, written and illustrated by Mindy Lighthype. This story is about the long journey taken by monarch butterflies every single year. Let's find out what happens. The sun warms Mother Monarch's wings. She starts. She stops. She begins to fly. Where is she going? What is she looking for? She sees all kinds of flowers. They are pink, yellow, and purple. She searches for sweet nectar. She sips. She slurps. She gulps. Using her long tongue, called a proboscis, as a straw. She flies from flower to flower. Her feet are covered with pollen. She sprinkles. She rubs. She drops pollen through the air like fairy dust. Mother Monarch continues to fly. She is looking for milkweed to feed her family. She searches. She looks. She discovers. She lands upon a leaf. Using her feet to touch and smell, she investigates the leaf. Of all the plants she visited today, this one is special. It is familiar. White drops ooze from the edge of this leaf. It tastes sour. It is milkweed, which is the host plant and the same plant she ate when she was a caterpillar. All monarch caterpillars eat milkweed. Mother Monarch's body begins to rumble. She feels movement in her abdomen. She trembles. She pushes. She lays a tiny egg. The egg clings to the underside of the leaf. She carefully places one egg underneath as many milkweed leaves as she can find. Mother Monarch's life is short. She will not be here to raise her family. Her task at first a mystery, is now clear and complete. She has continued the cycle of life. A new day begins and the bright sun warms the tiny egg. It bumps, it squirms, it wiggles into the world. Mother Monarch's baby caterpillar is born. Caterpillar leaves her tiny egg house. She is hungry and beneath her feet, the milkweed leaves smell delicious. Using her mandibles, she nibbles. She chews, she chomps. A large bird sees Caterpillar. Caterpillar freezes, she cringes. She stays motionless. The bird picks her up in its beak. It coughs, it chokes, it spits her back onto the leaf. Milkweed is poisonous to birds and other animals. Mother Monarch has chosen the host plant wisely. It protects caterpillar from predators. Day after day, Caterpillar is getting bigger and bigger. She is too big for her skin. It itches, it splits, it peels and falls off. The more she eats, the bigger she gets. She will shed her skin four more times before she stops growing. Caterpillar's belly is so full, she could not eat another leaf. It is time for a long, deep sleep. She crawls, she searches, she finds a nice shady spot under a leaf. To prepare for sleep, she attaches herself to the leaf by a silken thread she makes from her spinneret. She hangs upside down, she sways, she rocks. Her skin splits for the last time. 
her skin is replaced with a beautiful, smooth, new chrysalis home. For 14 days, she sleeps in her chrysalis. Her body is changing. One morning, she wakes. She feels confined. She twists, she pushes, her chrysalis breaks open. Her long slender legs hold onto her home. She breathes, her heart beats, her wings appear. Each beat of her heart makes her wings get bigger and bigger. She opens and closes her wings as the sun helps them to dry. Caterpillar has turned into a beautiful monarch butterfly. As she flies, she sees other butterflies like herself. They fly from flower to flower. Their feet are covered with pollen. They sprinkle, they rub, they drop pollen through the air like fairy dust. The air is turning colder. The days are getting shorter. The monarchs keep flying. Where are they going? What are they looking for? The milkweed leaves are turning brown. The milkweed flowers have turned to seed pods. The wind is blowing. The seeds are taking flight. All monarch butterflies begin to fly with the wind. She flies over rivers and mountains. She flies over 3,000 miles until she finds a place where the air is warmer. After flying for a month, she has flown to Mexico. She clings to a branch. She holds on tight. She is not alone. There are hundreds, thousands, millions of butterflies just like her. They are in the trees. They are sleeping, waiting and hoping for a sign from the wind. A new morning arrives. The sun warms their wings. All the monarchs wake from their slumber and take to the air. Hundreds, thousands, millions take flight. They flit and they flutter. They swoop and they play. The wind blows them northward. Where are they going? What are they looking for? They are returning to the United States where the milkweed grows. For generations, all mother monarchs have passed down their knowledge and wisdom on how to survive. They know what to look for. They know where to fly. They know the mystery of life. Thank you for joining us today for our children's nature story, Mother Monarch. See you next time. For our family share activity, for part one, make a butterfly. To make one butterfly, gather together two round coffee filters, two chenille stems, washable markers, a small cup of water, and a paintbrush. Then follow the detailed instructions provided in the description and view the photos provided on this video. For part two of our family share activity, plant a butterfly garden. To encourage monarch butterflies to come to your garden, you need to provide a food source for both the butterflies and the caterpillars. Monarch caterpillars will only eat milkweed, so plant some so the butterflies have somewhere to lay their eggs. The monarch butterflies need food too, so you may want to add coneflower, coreopsis, bee balm, flocks, and cardinal flower. Good luck and have fun!